Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. In this video, today we are going to look in the groups. Yesterday we saw in the users. So let's see what in the groups. Groups are exactly like um, uh, what we saw in the mail exchange and then in Active Directory. So groups are like a <clears throat> where you create a group and there are some pretty like from like uh, pre build group accounts ad sync admins ad sync browse this one is the one that uh, um, i created and you see that they have the sync status they have cloud this one is in the cloud and it has team assign you see if i hover this group has microsoft team connected so this one this desktop connected dhcp user administrator so some of them they were already created so if you see i created two groups with the same name one is for office 365 and this one probably was uh, uh, in my local like uh, domain because this one is mail enabled so it was created by in the exchange and you see this group has teams associated with president so these these were the groups that i created on my local active directory if you remember from my earlier videos I can show you as well so this sales 671 I I don't remember ever creating it but this seems like that this was created um, in local active directory because this one is for the office so you see that the group that is um, created locally like uh, that this one this group ah okay 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 so basically all these groups they are created in the office this group is from the uh, local domain so presidents i created in the uh, local taxes yes if you remember my video that we talked about how to uh, control um, active direct uh, file and folder access through active directory so it was this video file folder sharing through active directory for this video you see there are like four or five uh, virtual machines running and we created all those groups and then we create these groups and then we did the uh, file folder con uh, sharing control so groups we can add a group or we can refresh the list or we can search for it so what are the groups let's go and see this is the these are the um, local domain pre-built group so we're going to check one of ours like presidents and see if president has the same members that were locally in our active directory so all the president should be there if it's the case you see four members before i clicked in so it means that it has four and you see all the members that were locally we created are a member in the cloud as well view all and manage members so this one is all the members that uh, are a part so if i click on brock nothing is happening so this is just manage members like it should be able to remove it what does manage means all right so it was giving me an option So there is no owner. And right now I don't see an option to delete, to be able to delete them from here. <clears throat> so, so it says actually say, you can only manage this group in your own premises environment. Use Active Directory user and groups for Exchange Admin Center tools to edit or delete this group. Since it was created on premises locally, that's why I cannot uh, manage this uh, in the cloud. Let's create another group, or we have charter already uh, that uh, was pre, and we have 16 members in it. So you see, I have two more options over here. If I click on members, I have all the members here. That is 16 so i want to delete like uh, this one on premises see can i do that yes from here i can delete them so 
if I were to go and on premises delete, it's been deleted. Removing one. So if I click here, it's going to say it's removing one. If I click save, this will be removed. So I don't want to. The reason is that this is the charter group and I want everybody to be a part of it. Let's go to settings. So from here, I can delete the group itself. Allow external senders to email to this group again, like who can send uh, email and that will be delivered to everybody. Uh, is allow or not? Right now it's public, I could, could make it private. Send copies of group conversation events to group members. So like uh, you will receive a digest email. Microsoft Teams, manage your team setting in the Microsoft Ad Teams Admin Center. So if you remember from the teams, we had the char charter group over there and then we had channels. Exactly. So that's what it's saying that go and manage it over there. If I click here, it's gonna take me to admin center. And you see teams manage and this is the SID, I believe. And you see, it took me right there to charter uh, group and i have channelist here so i have created two channel that is general and spout and then i have settings and all that so we have seen that in the teams video let's exit out of here so this is it about the charter let's go and see if we have uh we can edit name description delete everything so let's see what else we have in groups so deleted group so if we were to delete a group it will show up here just like it was for the deleted user so if I am to delete what group let's create a group add a group office 365 distribution so oh this is good as well so this is office 365 tr group that uh, teams can collaborate by using the group email or you know file calendar sharing everything using teams and all that and get the email all that distribution is just a group that we gonna use to send out emails so we will send uh, an email for that group and they will receive it the benefit of this is that maybe you have a sales group then finance group accounting group and then IT group so you see they will have different stuff or different um, information to be sent out so it's not like that you're sending um, for example if we send four emails three emails for each one of those four groups will be junk or spam because it's they have nothing to do with those in that information so we can create distribution groups or we mail enable security group so basically they have the security that they have access to some of the settings or services and they are in and they are also a distribution kind of thing that uh, whatever send email we send to that group will be delivered to everybody last one is just security so it's the opposite of this one they, it's a security group that has access to different device uh, services based on what we uh, want that group to have access to but the, it, there is no email so I'm gonna go with the office 365 I'm gonna name it test to test the lead group settings for the group email test group <clears throat> is it public or private create a team for this group we can let's go owner let's make Ali give all, everything to Ali the reason I use Ali is he is the first one to pop up and it's real easy to type in as well a like just three characters ALI that's it create group so new group created we're gonna close it and we see we can delete it right there oh, where is it no that's all that's I'm going for Ali okay we created test it should be done that's where this refresh button works so when we and it shows up right there we click on it we can add it name add the description or delete I'm gonna go with the delete close so if I go to deleted groups now I see it over here if I did not I would have done the refresh and it would sh show up 
last one is shared mailboxes so this is shared mailboxes this is very uh, interesting concept i want to create a video uh, separate video for it uh, because what happens is that you have just one mailbox and you have like i'm giving you an example you have like two two or more people replying to that uh, um, like they are replying any email in that mailbox and it does not say that it is mail from may uh, reply from person one or two its uh, reply is sent by this mailbox so it's interesting I'm gonna show you uh, it will make more sense so I want to create a separate video I'm gonna wrap this video for the groups here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one